feel judgmental about that arrogance because I recognize that whatever diminished their self-love, that that had to be tough for them, that there was a struggle or someone or many people were unkind, that they didn't let them know how important or significant they were. And that's crummy. You didn't like it when it happened to you. Why would we feel a lack of compassion for it happening to someone else? But what it is, it's, it's, the, it's, it's living within the illusion that if I pretend I'm better than others, then eventually I'm going to maybe think that I am at least okay. Maybe I can recover what I lost by blowing, overblowing what I really truly think about myself. So arrogance is not self-love. Self-love is confidence. Self-love is respecting that you do matter as much as everything else and that everything else does matter as much as you. There's a very prominent school of thought on earth, especially when we look at religions, is that, that we're, supposed to, we're supposed to live at some level of sacrifice, that if we have something or anything more than another person has, that it's our responsibility to donate or to give it. And that makes us good. And in order to be good in the eyes of whatever our religious icons are, in order to be good, then we have to live in sacrifice if we have more than somebody else. What's interesting about that is that it's not true. It is a way that a lot of religions get a lot of money, a lot of money, a lot, 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 <laughs> lot of money. It is a way that that happens, but it's not a way that you get a special wink from God. It's not a way that you get an easier pathway into your own experience of letting go of this body and returning to your full consciousness the way you were before you were born. It doesn't buy you anything. It doesn't get you anything. Maybe it makes you feel good about yourself to some level because you've been told that you're a good person if you sacrifice, but it's not going to get you anything more than that. But giving from the overflow of abundance of what you have as a self-loving person, that does get you a lot. It gets you a lot. And it's infinite what it gets you. It doesn't matter what you're giving, whether it's comfort, compassion, money, expertise, time, love, support, ideas, whatever you give. If you have so much of it that you just want to share and it feels so good to share and it feels even better.